Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Elio? Okay. Tenía apagado el, el parlante. Ah, okay. No problem. <laughs> no hablando, no. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, How are you? No bad. Yes. Uh, it's because I am studying in the UMA University. Uh huh. I am studying low. After work, I go walking because it's near from here my the university. Ah, okay. So you you you're still studying. I am I am studying a uh, law to be a lawyer. To be a lawyer. Yes. Okay, but you already uh, have your profession, right? Yes, I am a retired colonel. The army forces. Okay, very good, very good. And uh, now you're interested in laws. Yes, yes. Also, I I I I have been graduate uh, from theology. Mm -hmm. From the point of view, the evangel of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but he's not Catholic. He's a he's a, a, a evangel. No, I don't know how to say. Um, uh, no priest. In it, yes, the like uh, like Protestant. Oh yes, yes, uh, yeah, Protestant. Yeah, yes, exactly. So mm -hmm. you are a priest also. Like, no, exactly, but I have exactly. Yes, I have studied theology. Like I, a pastor, you're like a pastor, right? Yeah, like a pastor. Yes, that's it. Okay, okay. Yes, I mean, that's good. You you're kind of busy. You're, but you're you're in your house already, or you're in in your office. I am in my office. I am in my office. I you're go. you're still working. Yes, until five p.m. Then I go to university, I finish at 8, at 8 p.m. And then I walk again, I can run it, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wait to be on time. Yeah, so you have a very, a very busy, a busy schedule, right? Busy yeah, day. I like to be busy. Yes. <laughs> I always, I, during my life, I always have been studying, constantly. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good because you keep like learning different things and you're always active right so that's good yes yes it is very good very good elu uh nice to see you like very soon yes go ahead what about you are you uh in, uh do you have a licenciatura how do you say licenciatura a bachelor's in, degree bachelor, bachelor, bachelor degree in, in english yes i have a bachelor's degree in english uh, to teach English, actually, and uh, uh, yes, I already finished, and now I'm I'm teaching right. That that's what I do right now. I'm teaching yeah. at the university. I'm teaching here, so different jobs. That's good. Yeah, that's good. This sometimes it's uh, a lot of work, but as you said, right, it's good to be busy. It's good to be working all the time. Yes, that's okay. Good. Yes, exactly. Let's see here. Uh, do you have any question about the platform or uh, did you finish section one and section two? Yes, I have fin I, I have a I have a, a troll up a, a troll troll mm -hmm. mm -hmm. because uh, in 1.3 uh lecture mm -hmm. I have problem because I didn't write in the in the in the item in the item area. I just answered the the question, mm -hmm. but I didn't put the item. For example, if, if we are talking about um, a wash, I need to put the, the item is wash, and then the, the question begins after that. Uh, that, uh, that was in 1.3. 1.3. Oh, but, yes, yes. But I solved the problem. Because we need to read in the item. And number one, this is item. You need to put in the item. And I didn't. And I didn't put. But and and the, the problem is that it was uh, it was closed. It was closed because of because I didn't put the, the item. And when I I look up for the advance of the of the problem, mm -hmm. it, it seems 
it uh, it looked like I have I have no punctuation in this part. So I, I began to answer and answer and answer, and and I wrote I wrote to the to the chat to the to the coordinator. Mm -hmm. She told me about about this something that you didn't write on it. Yes, exactly. You need to write the items. So it was already close when you tried to to yes. write the answer. Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The first one was briefcase. The second mm -hmm. one was shoes or a pair of shoes, and the third one was a shirt or shirt. Okay. Yes, but you you were able to solve it in everything, right? Yes, I solved it Okay. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Uh, thank you for being here, Estela, Jaime, Rafael. Thank you for being on time. And we are about to begin. I just need to know if you had any problem like uh, completing the platform or if you have any doubt, we can solve it right now. And if if you don't have any doubt, we can continue, right? Because uh, we are uh, finished. I think that uh, we are going to continue with section two today. And I guess that we are going to finish it on Monday. But hopefully we are going to finish everything uh, section three completely next week, okay? So uh, we're going to be a little bit delayed, but it will be just a little bit, okay? Just for you, if you have any question, any doubt, any problem, uh, any comment, right? You can uh, tell me, right? So before we were talking about uh, new vocabulary cards, right? To, to express problems. Also, we practice the vocabulary like scratch, break, like uh, the past participles also, and the nouns, right? So we were talking about past participles and nouns, and we already practiced that. So now we are going to practice something else, okay? Let's see. Um, we are going to uh, talk about today about gerunds. Uh, you didn't have any homework uh, yesterday, so uh, I don't know if you already know about gerunds. What is a gerund? Do you know that? Que es un gerundio? Gerundio is in Spanish, right? But in English is gerund. What is a gerund? Do you know? If Have I you heard that word before? Yes. If a continue, it's a it's a action that continue. That in English we use the ing to in, in the in the end of the verb. Yes, at the end of the verb, exactly. So it's like it's we use it in present continuous, right? Present continuous tenses. And we have um like a definition of a gerund here, right? It says in a nutshell, a gerund is a word that ends with ing. The word used is initially a verb, but the addition of the ing on the end. It turns it into a gerund, and this word is then used like a noun. So that is a gerund, right? It's like a noun. Es como un nombre. It's a verb at the beginning, but if we add ing at the end, it's like a noun. Very good. Thank you for being here, Sulma, Elizabeth. Um, let's see who else is here. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, thank you for being here. I know it's a Friday. On Fridays, we won't have classes, but this is the this is Monday's class, right? So uh, we are going just to to uh, review a little bit and we are going to complete, right? This, this kind of topics that we are going to talk. Today, we are going to talk about gerunds, right? Gerundios, right? Gerunds. Gerunds are like nouns, son como nombres, right? It says the gerund can take up now uh, on a number of roles. It can be the subject of the sentence, the direct object, the object of a preposition, or a subject complement. So it can be different things. And these are some examples, right? I'm going to enlarge it. For example, it says he's running, right? Running is fun. How do you translate that in, in Spanish? Correr. How do you, correr. Exactly. So in, in Spanish is correr, right? No es corriendo. It's a gerund, but it's correr, right? Running is fun. Flying is scary, right? Flying. Playing tennis is great. I don't like working for my new boss. Reading 
helps you learn more. I enjoy writing. Learning is an important thing. And you'll get in trouble for cheating in exams. And I am thinking of booking a holiday. So all of them are gerunds. Todos son gerundios. All of them. Running, flying, playing, working, reading, writing, learning, cheating, and booking. What's the meaning of cheating? Cheating is como molestar. Como, como, molesta, como jodiendo, como edición. Perdón. No sé si... si no se le escucha, profesor. Teacher, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, Easy. sorry, sorry. So uh, I don't know if you were, yes, yeah, kind of like that, right, Elio? But it was uh, cheating is like, I don't know if when you were in school or at the university, uh, you were, when you were having an exam, it was, you, you tell to a friend, right? Hey, give me number one, give me number two, right? It's like, uh, or reading something like you did, like little notes and in the exam, you read the notes. How do you say that in, in Spanish? Como, copiar. Copiar, exactly. Ah, copiar, okay. exactly. Cheating. So you're cheating. Pero cheating, cheating no es lo mismo también a engañar. Engañar, no. yes, exactly. But in exams, your cheating is like you're, you're haciendo trampa, right? Estás copiando. It's like something like that, cheating. So you will get in trouble for cheating in exams. In a relationship, if you cheat, it's like also you're fooling someone, están engañando a alguien, pero eso es una relación, right? Cheating. But in, uh, in <laughs> yes, in an exam, cheating is a uh, copia, right? So uh, all of these are nouns and all of these uh, words with ing are gerunds, right? All of them, all of them. We have a lot of rules to create gerunds. We are not going to uh, review all of them because we need to practice a lot and that will that will take uh, more than one class. But we are going to focus on only in, in some, some rules, okay? In this uh, rule that or the verbs that we are going to use uh, or the ones that you saw in the platform are need and keep, right? These verbs are followed by gerunds. Many verbs are followed by gerunds, right? Not only need and keep. We have abhor, acknowledge, admit, advise, allow, anticipate, appreciate, avoid, be worth. All of them, uh, they are followed by a gerund, as you can see here, right? Tom abhors working outdoors, okay? So what it means is after that verb, we need to write a gerund. Después de un verbo que sigue un gerundio, tenemos que escribir la palabra en ing, ¿verdad? Uh, I appreciate her helping me, right? He avoided talking to her. So we have a lot of verbs, a lot of verbs. And after those verbs, we need to write a gerund. We have confess, as you can see here, we have more, right? Consider, continue, defend, delay, deny, despise, detest, a lot of verbs. So you need, how, how do I learn that, teacher? How do I learn which verb goes with gerund? You need to learn them, right? Necesitan aprenderse de memoria. I, 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 this is just a suggestion, right? Suggestion. If you want to, I, I will give you them. After the class, I will give you this material and you will have it, right? So you can, if you have your free time tomorrow or Sunday, you can check it. And if you want to, you can start practicing, okay? So this is just information in general. So for you to see that there are a lot of verbs like evade, explain, fancy, right? You can look for the vocabulary, the meaning, right? And we have a lot of verbs, but yes, more verbs, right? Uh, but as you can see, we are going to uh, focus only in need and keep. That is the reason why after need and keep, we write a gerund, it's a rule, right? Es una regla. After some verbs, we write gerunds and two verbs are need and keep, right? Need and keep. And the rest that I, I show you before, right? So for example, uh, it says you can use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive, right? Uh, passive, you already know what passive is, right? Passive voice. 
you already studied that. Eso ya lo estudiaron, ¿verdad? La voz pasiva. Yes. Yes, perfect. So the passive infinitive is a passive that is an infinity, but it's, it's an infinity that is in passive voice, right? And we are going to use these expressions to talk about solutions, para hablar acerca de soluciones. Previously, we talked about problems, right? You damaged your car, you did this, you did that, right? We have a lot of, a lot of problems, but we need to provide solutions. And we can talk about solutions with this, right? And also keep, right? Keep plus gerund to talk about repetitive problems. For example, the battery needs replacing. The battery needs replacing of the car, right? La batería necesita reemplazarse. Re remember that this, you're not going to translate it. Um, I, I don't know who, if you do this, no sé si ustedes hacen eso, if you translate from Spanish to English in your mind, to talk in English, do you do, you do that? A big headache. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a big headache. But do you do that? Do you translate from English to Spanish when you try to speak? When you try to, or you think in English all the time, like when you try to speak English? No, so, sometimes we translate to Spanish. Sometimes we translate, right? Some people do it. Some people, how do I say, uh, me gusta comer, or uh, no sé, pupusas. How do I say that in English, right? A me gusta, I like, ¿verdad? Comer, mm -hmm. eat, right? I like eat, pupusas. Is it okay? Is it not okay? Pues a veces sí se traduce igual, a veces no, okay? En este caso, the gerunds are not going to be endo, right? Reemplazando, no, right? Uh, the battery needs reemplazando, no. The battery needs replacing, necesita reemplazarse needs replacing right the walls needs to the walls need to be painted right the walls need to be painted and we have another one it says my cell phone keeps freezing so keeps in so it's something that is happening a lot of times right it's repetitive problem and this is just to provide a solution also right a common solution questions about gerunds preguntas questions about gerunds about need keep passive infinitive questions when you use the verb to be using a gerund it's a the meaning is different is the meaning is different the meaning yes uh, for example she is running right mm -hmm. she is running so in this case we are talking about the present continuous presente oh. continuo right i i see ella está corriendo. She is running. But in this case, we are. this is not the present continuous. No verb to be, right? Yes. So it's no verb to be. It's not present continuous. It's a gerund. So that is a different, right? It's different. A gerund, present continuous. So don't get, don't get confused. No se confunden. Don't get confused, okay? Very good. We are going to have more examples, right? More examples. Uh, it uh, says, I have a question. Yes, Elizabeth. I can understand the last one and other screen. Yes. My cell, my cell phone keeps freezing. Yes. You don't, which one, what, what word do you, do you, you don't understand? It's right, right. Is mi teléfono necesita o se mantiene preciado, como congelado. Exactly. Como que it freezes, it gets frozen, right? Como que se trabara. Keeps freezing. Oh. Yeah, it, get, it like gets stuck, como que se trabara, right? But in English, we say keeps freezing. Remember, when we say something in Spanish, in English is different, right? In English is different, but it's the same meaning. Es el mismo significado, okay? So, se mantiene trabándose. ¿Cómo se dice eso en inglés? My cell phone keeps freezing, right? My cell phone keeps freezing. Very good, very good question, right? It's the same, but it's the same meaning, different words. So we have here a use, need, plus gerund to describe solutions. We have here formula. So we have here, the formula is really simple, right? Subject, a subject, need, the verb need, and the gerund, because after the verb need, we're going to write a gerund. For example, the gut parts need cleaning. The fire alarm needs adjusting. The lights need replacing. You see, so all of these are gerunds. And it's the same verb because after this verb, the verb need, 
we need to write a gerund, right? That's it. Questions about this? No, right, it's really simple, right? The plants need watering, the oven needs fixing, the ceiling needs painting, you see? A lot of very, very good examples, very easy examples. The same is with the need plus passive infinitive. That is to describe solutions, right? So we need a subject, need, plus the verb to be, or the word to be, right? Plus past participle, right? Past participle. The cupboards need to be clean. It's the same, right? But it's, it, we can say it in a different way. The cupboards need cleaning or the cupboards need to be clean. The fire alarm needs to be adjusted. The, the lights need to be replaced. It's the same, but it's a different way to say it, right? So it's really simple, right? Subject, need, plus to be, plus past participle. This is need plus passive, passive infinitive. You can practice with that. And the last one is um, keep, right? Keep, mantenerse, mantener, right? Plus gerund, subject, plus keep, plus gerund, plus complement, right? The car alarm keeps going off at night, right? The car, the car alarm keeps going off. Going off is que se mantiene, que se apaga, right? Que se apaga todas las noches, en la noche, right? The oven keeps burning everything I put inside. The oven, so the oven is not working very well. The oven keeps burning everything I put inside, right? My computer keeps crashing. My cell phone keeps freezing. So it's the same, right? Subject plus keep plus gerund plus complement. And this is to describe repetitive problems, okay? So you just need to uh, follow this, uh, this formula. Questions, preguntas? No questions? Okay, perfect. No problem. So uh, this is um, examples, right? We are going to check more examples, probably. We are going to review this on Monday. And I want you to help me with this, okay? This is uh, describing problems, right? Uh, it says the oven needs adjusting, right? So the same examples that we checked before. The alarm needs fixing. That is need plus gerund, right? Now need plus passive infinitive, it needs to be adjusted or it needs to be fixed, right? Need plus passive infinitive. And keep plus gerund, everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Now, I need you to help me with these sentences. I need you to tell me, uh, for example, the walls. We have here the subject. And I need you to write a sentence or tell me a sentence with need plus gerund, right? We are going to write it. So I need, you, I need you to help me with this. The walls, the walls... Mm -hmm. As you can see, the uh -huh, the the apartment. You can see the image here, right? Everything is destroyed, right? Yes. The walls need the pavement. Uh huh. The walls need to be painted. To be painted. Very good. Or the walls need painting, right? Need painting. plus gerund, right? Very good. Painting. Now number two. The rug clean. The rug, the rug needs clean. The rug. The rug needs need, clean. Uh -huh, the rug needs cleaning. 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 Very good. Perfect. Jaron, right? After need cleaning, right, Jaron? The windows wash. <laughs> the windows wash. The, the window needs mm -hmm. need the washing. windows need very good. The windows need washing. Very good. The windows need washing. Very good. Now I need one with need plus passive infinitive with the close and pick up. Passive infinitive, right? The close pick up. The clothes mm -hmm. need, need to be picked up. Very good. The clothes need to be picked, picked up. 
Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Next one. The lamp shade replace. The lamp shade replace. The lamp shade need to be replaced. Very good. The lamp shade needs to be replaced. What is a lamp shade? What is a lamp shade? What is that? What is that? What is a lamp shade? Lo que, lo que, lo que lleva arriba el foco, la, la... Exactly, lo que lleva la lámpara, ¿verdad? La pantalla de la lámpara. Exactly, la pantalla de la lámpara. We are not going to say the screen, right? The screen of the lamp, no. We are going to say the lamp shade. Very good, very good, perfect. Next one, number six, the waste basket empty. The waste basket empty. What is that one? We can no. use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive. The, the waste basket mm -hmm. emptying. Em, how do you em, empty, empty. 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 To be empty. Very good. The waste basket need needs, right? To be emptied. Past participle, past participle of empty, emptied. Very good, perfect. Number seven, the ceiling fan, adjust. The ceiling fan, right, the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan need to be adjusted. Very good, the ceiling fan. The ceiling fan. fan is cielo falso? No. No. What is the ceiling fan? El ventilador. El ventilador. The El pitch. ventilador de techo, the ceiling fan. Fan is ventilador, right? Fan. The ceiling fan needs to be adjusted. Thank you. Very good. And the last one, the plant, water. The plant needs watering. The plant, very good. The plant needs watering very good you see now we have learned how to say different ways to say it uh, or to solve problems right the plant needs watering the ceiling fan needs to be adjusted the waste basket needs to be emptied the lampshade needs to be replaced so you see we can use a uh, need plus passive infinitive or need plus gerund it's really easy now let's see the next one it's a a823 uh, this was, uh, this is almost the same, right? We just need to choose um, the best option in these sentences, like circle the correct gerund to complete the sentences, then compare with a partner. Uh, solo aquí tenemos que elegir la, la palabra correcta. So we are going to uh, go one by one because I have been I have been talking a lot. I estado hablando mucho. Ahora les toca a ustedes, verdad? So I need one volunteer. One volunteer. Voluntarios. Okay. Hi, Eliu. Eliu. Okay. Number one, Eliu, read it, please. Leala, por favor. Oh, Number one. Are, you, are, are you able to read it? Or do you need yes. bigger? Yes. Okay. My TV screen goes on and off all the time. It keeps, it keeps. It keeps, uh, okay, so we have two options, flickering or sticking. What is flickering? Flickering is mm -hmm. like, like... Parpadeando. Like, Parpadeando, yeah. exactly. And sticking, what is sticking? It como keeps sticking. Y es como que está... Pegado. Trabado, sí. pegado, ajá. ajá. A trabado pegado. So it says my TV screen goes on and off all the time. It keeps flickering or it keeps sticking. What is the best option, Eliu? It's flickering. Very good. Perfect. Number one is flickering. Okay. So we are going to write it here. So we are not going to uh, forget. Now, 
Eliu, choose one of your classmates. Okay, Hilda. Hilda, are you there, Hilda? Yes, I'm here. Okay, very good, Hilda. Now, number two, are you able to read number two or do you want me to read it? Um, that all DVD player after jams to another scene, it keeps crashing or skipping. Uh, yes, exactly. Crashing or skipping. What is the best option there? Crashing skipping. or skipping? Skipping. skipping? skipping, very good. What is the meaning of skipping? Eh, saltándose. Exactly. Skipping es como se va saltando, ¿verdad? So it says se here. Va pasando. The, se va pasando. The old DVD player often jumps to another scene. Very good, Hilda. Yeah. We are going to write it down so we are not going to forget, okay? Skipping. Number two, skipping. Number three, Hilda, choose one of your classmates. Okay, wait. Um, Hilda, choose Alejandra. Alejandra, are you there, Alejandra? Can you hear yes, me? Teacher. Very good, yes. Alejandra. Number three, can you read it, please? The battery in my new camera doesn't last long. It keeps freezing or dying. What is the best option, it... freezing or dying? Dying. Dying, very good. It keeps dying. Se acaba muy rápido, like the battery. So the battery dies, right? Perfect. Uh, now, Alejandra, choose someone for number four. Estela Diaz. Estela Diaz, are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, Estela, read number four. Uh, the buttons on the remote control don't work well. They keep uh, sticking. Skipping uh -huh. or sticking. sticking. What is the best option? Uh, sticking. Sticking, right? Very good. Perfect. Let's see. Sticking. Perfect. Se como que se traban, ¿verdad? Los botones. Sticking. Very good. Now, Estela, choose someone else for number five. Mm, Nady. Nady. Are you there, Nady? Yes, teacher. Okay, read number five, please, Nady. Um, something is very wrong. With my computer, it keeps um, jamming mm -hmm. or crashing. Exactly. Um, so what is the best option, jamming or crashing? Uh, jamming. Jamming. What is the meaning of jamming? It's como atascándose. Yes, jamming. In this case, it will be atascándose. Jam is a jam, right? But it can be also um, means... Like, como que tiene interferencia, right? Como que tiene alguna interferencia. So, if we say it keeps jamming, uh, we can say that. We can translate it in that way. Atascándose. Pero puede ser como que está trabada también, right? It can be crashing. Crashing, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh, because it crashes, right? Como que se arruina por completo. So, it will be better. Uh -huh. Crashing. Okay. Okay, Nady. Choose one else. Someone else, please. Um, Jaime Barrera. Jaime, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, read number six, please. The printer isn't making all the copies I want to. I want it keeps. I think it's uh, jamming. Yes, exactly. It's a task, right? It keeps jamming. The printer isn't making all the copies I want. It keeps jamming, perfect. Now, uh, choose someone else, Jaime. Uh, Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio, can you read number seven, please? Uh, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It keeps freezing. It keeps freezing, exactly. The screen can, they can froze, right? The screen normally. Very good, Rafael. Choose someone else. The last one, please. Uh, Jaime Barrera. Jaime Barrera, you already participated, right? Yes. 
Okay, choose okay. someone else. Alejandra Elizabeth. Alejandra Elizabeth. You you participated already or not? Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes, okay. Someone else. We have Myra, we have Sulma. We have Cesar. Okay, Cesar. Uh, read the last one, please. Okay, uh, I can make long calls on my new phone. They keep dying or dropping. I choose dying. They keep dying. They keep dying. Why? Why do you choose dying? Uh, I don't know. It's it's like your guess. Uh, um, yeah, it's como muriéndose, no? O mm -hmm. o, o, o se arruina, se apaga, algo así. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. Very good logic. In this case, uh, the in English we say the call drops, right? Drops. La llamada se cae, se cayó la llamada. Uh -huh. So, which is the best option? Okay. So, in this case, is they keep dropping. They keep dropping exactly. I can't make long calls on my new phone. They keep dropping. So, when a call disconnects, they call drops. Okay. So that's the way. Uh, that in English we say, right, dropping. So they drop in or they keep dropping or they call drops. Very good, perfect. Now we have uh, completed this, um, this exercise. As you can see, these are gerunds, right? It keeps flickering, it keeps crashing, it keeps freezing, they keep skipping, right? So these are problems that are, they are happening a lot of times there are frequent problems, repetitive problems, right? So as you can see, we use the verb keep and a gerund. Very good. Let's see, what time is it? Okay, 8.32. Now this is just a pronunciation. Uh, this is just a contrastive stress. I guess that this is also in the platform, right? Uh, esto también está en la plataforma. This is just for you to sound more natural in English. Uh, yes, Elizabeth, go ahead. Um, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés, mm -hmm. pero ¿por qué en la última oración nos enfocamos en la llamada y no en el teléfono? Because it says, I can make long calls. I can make long calls on my new phone. So they keep, they keep dropping, right? I can make long calls. So it's talking about the calls or it's talking about the phone? But this correct, no? Sorry? Uh, ambas son correctas, no? Porque el teléfono se está muriendo o porque se cae la llamada. Yeah, but why Why do they drop, right? Let's suppose that I have my phone, but my phone dies because of the battery, right? But my phone doesn't die. My phone is on all the time. The phone, uh, the phone call gets disconnected. So the phone call drops probably is the signal, right? Tigo, right? Claro. The bad signal, right? So it's claro. not my phone. Yeah, claro, right? <laughs> uh, did you sell Movistar? So it's not my phone. The phone, the problem is not my phone. The problem is the signal, right? Because okay. the phone gets disconnected, right? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Very good question because you see, you're we are thinking about vocabulary and meaning. That's good. That's good. Very good. Now, uh, this is pronunciation, right? Contrastive stress. This is just uh, pronunciation. As you can see, we have different uh, sentences here and uh, we are going to play it and we are going to listen, right? Let's see if we have another. And then we are going to complete uh, uh, listening, right? So this is just for you to sound uh, more natural. Let's see if we can find it here. Let me find the track. And let me know if you're able to listen to it because sometimes the, the audio is not sure. Okay, let's see. Unit six. Are you able to that listen? That needs fixing. Page 36, exercise two. Are you able to listen? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. So uh, let me look for contrastive stress here. Uh, this is the one. This is just for to better the pronunciation, okay? 
So let's wait a little bit. Okay. Page 40. Exercise 9. Pronunciation. Contrastive stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how a change in stress changes the meaning of each question and elicits a different response. Is the bedroom window cracked? No, the kitchen window is cracked. Is the bedroom window cracked? No, the bedroom door is cracked. Is the bedroom window cracked? No, it's stuck. Okay, what is he trying to say here about the pronunciation? When we stress a word, we are asking about that word specifically, right? For example, it's the bedroom window cracked. I'm asking about the bedroom, right? And the response is no, the kitchen window is cracked, right? So I'm asking for the place, right? Is the bedroom window cracked? No, the kitchen window is cracked. Now in the second one, is the bedroom window cracked? I'm talking about the material, right? Window. Um, uh, about the the not the material but uh, the object, right? The bed is the bedroom window cracked? No, the bedroom door is cracked. So it's not the window; it's the door. Or is the bedroom window cracked? No, it's stuck. Now in this case, cracked like if it is cracked, right? No, it's stuck. Solo está trabada, no está rota, right? No está. It's not cracked. So. Uh, that is um, the pronunciation. That is the. That's why we we have this contrastive stress. That is contrastive stress. We are going to repeat it right now. Okay. We are going to listen to it again, and then we are going to repeat it just to practice. Okay. This is just an exercise for pronunciation. Nine, pronunciation, contrastive stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice how a change in stress changes the meaning of each question and elicits a different response. Is the bedroom window cracked? No, the kitchen window is cracked. Is the bedroom window cracked? No, the bedroom door is cracked. Is the bedroom window cracked? No, it's stuck. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to repeat it just to practice a little bit, okay? Now, number one, repeat after me, please. Is the bedroom window cracked? Repeat. If the bedroom window cracked. Window cracked. Now, number two, is the bedroom window cracked? Is the bedroom window cracked? And the third one, is the bedroom window cracked? Is the bedroom is window the cracked? Window crack? Perfect, perfect. Very good, very good, perfect. Now we are going to uh, practice uh, our listening, right? Let's see. We almost finished. Now we are going to listen to this um, conversation between two friends. We need to answer the questions, right? What is wrong with Haley's phone? Okay, there is something wrong with Haley's phone, right? So we are we are going to take notes and we are going to listen, right? Number two, what is Haley's solution? Number three, what is Aaron's solution? And number four, why doesn't Haley like Aaron's solution? So we are going to listen twice and please take notes. This is like a listening exercise, okay? Uh, we'll play it right now. Page 40. Exercise 10. Listening. A throwaway culture. Part A. Listen to a conversation between two friends. Answer the questions. Haley, where have you been? I've been texting you all morning. Sorry, Aaron. My phone keeps freezing. And the camera isn't working. I'm going to go buy a new phone after class. You'll spend a ton of money on a new phone. Why don't you just fix it? I don't trust repair technicians. They charge you for parts you don't need, or they supposedly fix it, but a few days later, the same problem comes back. I don't have time for that. 
I agree there are a lot of dishonest ones, but I know someone. My phone kept shutting off, and this guy only charged me $50 to fix it, and my phone has worked perfectly ever since. Yeah, Aaron, but we have different phones. Everyone says mine is more complicated. This guy is a genius. He won't charge you if he can't fix it. Plus, Haley, you shouldn't throw electronics away if you can fix them. It's terrible for the environment. I read this article about how we're becoming a throwaway culture. A throwaway culture? Yeah, we throw things away instead of trying to fix them. Well, I think companies don't make things, especially electronics, as well as they used to. The quality of everything just isn't as good as before. Oh, I agree. The article mentioned that too, but it made a good point. If the companies are making things worse than before, why should we buy more? That's what the companies want. It's better to give a local repair technician some money and help small businesses. And you'll spend less, too. I guess I see your point. So this guy guarantees his work? Yep. Why don't we stop by his shop after class? All right. You convinced me, Aaron. Okay, very good. Did you write notes? Yes? Did you understood the, the conversation? Uh, more or less, yes. More, <laughs> more or less. It was kind of fast, right? It was kind of fast. But we are in advance, right? We are in advance. But I, I will play it again. I will play it again, and we are going uh, to answer these questions. Remember, what is wrong with Haley's phone? What is Haley's solution? What is Aaron's solution? And why doesn't Haley like Aaron's solution, okay? At the beginning, right? So uh, let's play it again, okay? Let's see here. Page 40, exercise 10. Listening, a throwaway culture, part A. Listen to a conversation between two friends. Answer the questions. Haley, where have you been? I've been texting you all morning. Sorry, Aaron. My phone keeps freezing. And the camera isn't working. I'm going to go buy a new phone after class. You'll spend a ton of money on a new phone. Why don't you just fix it? I don't trust repair technicians. They charge you for parts you don't need, or they supposedly fix it, but a few days later, the same problem comes back. I don't have time for that. I agree there are a lot of dishonest ones, but I know someone. My phone kept shutting off, and this guy only charged me $50 to fix it, and my phone has worked perfectly ever since. Yeah, Aaron, but we have different phones. Everyone says mine is more complicated. This guy is a genius. He won't charge you if he can't fix it. Plus, Haley, you shouldn't throw electronics away if you can fix them. It's terrible for the environment. I read this article about how we're becoming a throwaway culture. A throwaway culture? Yeah, we throw things away instead of trying to fix them. Well, I think companies don't make things, especially electronics, as well as they used to. The quality of everything just isn't as good as before. Oh, I agree. The article mentioned that too, but it made a good point. If the companies are making things worse than before, why should we buy more? That's what the companies want. It's better to give a local repair technician some money and help small businesses. And you'll spend less too. I guess I see your point. So this guy guarantees his work? Yep. Why don't we stop by his shop after class? All right. You convinced me, Aaron. Okay. Do you have the answers for the questions? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. What is wrong with Haley's phone? What is the problem? Your phone is freezing. It Her keeps phone freezing. keeps freezing. Exactly. And also what else? What else? What is the other problem? Um, what is the second problem for Haley's phone? Let's listen. Let's see, okay? Page 40. Exercise 10. Listening. A throwaway culture. Part A. Listen to a conversation between two friends. 
answer the questions. Haley, where have you been? I've been texting you all morning. Sorry, Aaron. My phone keeps freezing. And the camera isn't working. I'm going to go buy a new phone after class. You'll sp okay, what is the second problem? Camera. The camera, camera the is not working. The camera isn't working, right? You see? Perfect. Very good. So the, it keeps freezing, right? And the camera is not working. Question number two. What is Haley's solution? Buy a new phone. Buy a new phone, right? Buy a new phone because it's broken, right? Very good. And what is Aaron's solution? Aaron's solution is to go to a local uh, repair. Mm -hmm. It's in the, the phone. phone. Yes, go to local repair and try to repair it. Let's listen. Let's see. Or exchange the phone. Let's see. Spend a ton of money on a new phone. Why don't you just fix it? I don't trust repair technicians. They charge you for parts you don't need, or they supposedly fix it, but a few days later, the same problem comes back. Okay, yes, it's to fix it, right? To, you go to a technician and you fix it, right? But why doesn't Haley like Aaron's solution? Why she doesn't want to fix it? And the phone um, thank you. Um, uh huh. I don't know. Say <laughs> yes. the phone is the. Yeah, no sé cómo se decía cobrar la garantía. Yes, charge the 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 warranty. Yes. Yes, they charge you the warranty, or she said like they charge you for parts you don't need, or they supposedly fix it, but a few days later the same problem comes back. So probably she doesn't trust technicians, right? Very good. So those are the answers for this exercise. And they mention a term, throwaway culture. What is a throwaway culture? What do you think this term means? Throwaway culture. What is the meaning of that? Mm -hmm. Como una cultura de que todo votamos. Exactly. Like, we, it is broken. Okay, not, it doesn't work, right? Let's throw it and let's buy a new one, right? Sometimes it's good because uh, some things are supposed to be broken, right? Like they, they, they have a, a lifetime, right? So, but sometimes if it is possible, it, it's better, like, to try to fix it if it is fixable, right? If it is fixable. But that is exactly. Thank you, Alejandra. That is the meaning of throwaway culture, right? Like you just throw it and buy a new, a new one. Throw it and buy a new one. Very good. Perfect. Let's see what else do we have here. We only have uh, like 10 minutes. Let's see here. This is the, we this already did it, right? And this is the value of upcycling. Are you able to, uh, to read this or is really blurry for you? Pueden leer esto es muy borroso para algunos. I can. I'm in my cell phone and I can. You can do it? Okay, yeah. so we are going to practice the pronunciation and we are going to read, okay? The value of, of upcycling. I will take notes here and we are going to read. Also, if you don't know any word, right, you can tell me, teacher, what is this? What is that? We are going to go paragraph by, by paragraph. If I say stop, thank you, then we are going to continue with another person. We are going to have volunteers and we are going to read some of the paragraphs, okay? Now, I need the first volunteer, please, to read. Voluntario Me. para leer. Rafael, go ahead, Rafael. The value of upcycling, go ahead. I'm Caesar. I, I what to say, I don't know. Uh, Rafa, Rafael or Caesar, sorry. The value of upcycling. Okay. Standard article, what is upcycling? Why are some people trying to promote, promote, promote it? Mm -hmm. Recycling is a world now idea to, uh, that re refers to reducing waste materials in any way possible. But what about upcycling? Up 
upcycling. Upcycling. Mm -hmm. It's yes. a new world. Even though mm -hmm. it's some something that has been yes. going on since that human civilization began. It means reusing waste materials so yes. that yes. they have greater value. Value. Value, exact value, value. 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 Okay, <laughs> thank you, Rafael. Choose someone else. Escoja alguien más para seguir leyendo, por favor, please. Nay Nady. Nady, continue, Nady. Okay. Um, throughout its history, people have always done creative things with trust. For example, they 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 will use straw and their leaves to make roof steam from their animal to make leather woods and wood from falling trees the to make buds so why is there any words for it now okay One. thank you nady thank you nady okay. choose someone else Choose someone else, please. Um, Alejandra Elizabeth. Alejandra Elizabeth, continue. One answer to this question is that we reuse fewer and fewer things. And so we have become a throwaway society. This has raised huge question about waste. Where can we dump it all? Will it pollute the environment? Could it endanger our health? Okay, this thank evidence? you. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, Stop. Okay, thank you. Choose another one. Zulma mm, Perez. Okay, Zulma, finish that paragraph, please. Uh, the evidence is everywhere, even the even in the Pacific Ocean, where billions of feet of broken plastic float near the surface, fish eat them, and then we eat the fish. Okay, perfect, Zulma. Choose someone else. Okay, um, Jaime? Okay, Jaime, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, continue with the next paragraph. So, upcyclers have adopted a new words to the focus people attention and have wasted can of sample be reused, but the reuse profitability in fact, upcyclers don't like that idea of waste and prefer to call an asset something of value no way this okay stop lots. okay thank you something of value choose someone else uh Zulma uh Zulma I guess she already participated okay and Eliu no. Eliu go okay. ahead no way days there are lots of organizations that market products with upcycle um, materials some artists and designers have upcycled things like denim from old jeans to make rows and wool from old houses to make furniture. Others have even used old magazines to make stools and candy wrappers to make handbags. Okay, perfect. Choose another one, please. Hugo, Rafael, my friend. Okay, Hugo, go ahead. Hugo. You said Hugo, Rafael, Hugo? But Rafael already participated, right? Okay. Choose another one. Elizabeth Guti, Gutierrez. Okay, Elizabeth, finish the paragraph, please. Okay. Sometimes they'll um, stylish element to tear product, such a beautiful mosaic made with cheap or broken dishes. 
with an endless supply of ascent, it seems the upcycling has a great future. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, this is about upcycling, right? It's uh, describing the term upcycling. Do you have questions about the the words? Any how question? Do, how do you pronounce denim? Denim. 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 What, what is the, denim? Yes. What is denim? It's like the jeans, right? The material of the jeans. How do you say that? Jeans material? Polyester? No, no, no. No, polyester is polyester, but uh, jeans, jackets. Like lona in Spanish. Lona. Like lona, exactly. Like lona in Spanish. Yes, like lona, exactly. That is pantalones de lona, or, or how do you say it in, in other ways? Mezclilla. Yes. Mezclilla, yes. Yes, denim. Another word? You understood everything? Mm. Profitable. Profitable. Like profitable. Profitable. Yes, profitable is to get a profit, right? What is a profit? Is rentable, right? It's profitable. Rentable. Profit is sacarle ganancia, algo, right? Lucro. Profit. To make profits. So profitable is something that it's uh, rentable, algo. So it gives you benefits, right? Another word. Another word that you don't understand? That's it? Nowadays. 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 Oh. Hoy yeah. en día. It's a phrase, right? Hoy en día. Nowadays. Nowadays. Very good. Perfect. Uh, assets. What is asset? It says here in the last paragraph, it says, in fact, Upcyclers don't like the idea of waste and prefer to call it an asset, right? Assets son como uh, activo, right? Asset mm -hmm. como en contaduría, right? Activo and pasivo, right? Assets and liabilities, right? Assets. Another word? Mm -hmm. That's it? That's it. Okay, perfect. So uh, we are going to practice pronunciation. I noticed some words that we need to practice, right? It's okay because, because we don't know, right? So we are going to check here. The first one is, I will write it because it's kind of difficult to find it here. Tal voy a escribir. So we can find, have it here. For example, how do you say this word? Promote, 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 promote it, right? Promoted. Remember, we have three pronunciations, right? Promote it, promote it. So this will be pronunciation. Now let's see another one. Let's see. Uh, this one, the word here. Sorry. How do you say this one? Upcycling. 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 Perfect. Very good. This one. How do you say this word? Sign. Sign. Sins. Right. There's the sins. Very good. How do you say this one is kind of long, right? Civilly. How do you say this one? Civilization. 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 Perfect. How do you say this one? Greater. Greater. Perfect. Greater. How do you say, um, what is this word? Let's see. Ah, this one. This one is kind of throughout. This one, right? Throughout. Right? Throughout. A través, right? Throughout. Let's see. This one. How do you pronounce this one? Used. 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 Use it? No, right. Used. Used. And this one? What is this? Straw. 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 What is the meaning of Spanish? 
What is the meaning of in Spanish? Levistro. 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 What, what is that? Pantalones. Levis. Yes, but, but straw in this case is, es como una pajilla, right? Straw. Straws, right? Very good. Straw. Uh, how do you say this one? Ocean. 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 Exactly. Ocean. This one. Simple. Simply, right? Simply. Mm -hmm. Simply. And the one that you uh, answer, uh, uh, sorry, the, the one that you asked before, profitable, right? Profitable. Profitable. But, uh -huh. Teacher, but in the text uh, and with why? Uh, well, that's why my my question. Oh, where is it? Is it the first paragraph or in which one, Caesar? It's and in the last the, one. The last one. In the uh, second line. In the second line. In fact, upcyclers profit okay. profitably, profitably, to be reused profitably. This is an adverb. Okay, that's why it ends with L-Y, profitably. Profitable oh. is like the adjective, profitably is the adjective. Oh, right? okay. Very good, very good question, very good. Uh, profitable or profitably, the adjective, right? Profitably. And uh, we have nowadays, right? Now, uh, days. How do you pronounce this one? Nowadays. No nowadays, way. nowadays. Also, um, this one is a word that we study, right? How do you say this one? Chip. Chipped. Chipped. No, right. Chipped. Chipped. Chip. Perfect. Now we have practiced pronunciation, listening, grammar. So we are going to stop right now. And I will see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. And no homework, okay? So I will see you on Monday, okay? Thank you for your commitment. Thank you a lot. Have a good weekend. Thank Have you. a good weekend, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.